Today we're at Porth Maddock Golf Club in North Wales. It's a par 71 Parkland stroke Lynx course. It's a great course, very scenic. The aim of the day is to try and break the equivalent of 90. There's hardly a breath of wind, there's hardly a cloud in the sky, perfect weather for golf. Let's start the course vlog. The opening hole is a medium length par 4. And we hit a smooth one with the driver, straight down the middle, finds the fairway. Now we have a chance to hit the green in two. Front edge was around 176 for this shot. We missed the green short. So it's playable, just about. Just 33 for the time. So we're in the hazard, bit of a course management error here. I didn't know there was a ditch before the green. Bit of a risky shot this one. But it comes off okay. We didn't end up in the drink on a golf bloopers video on YouTube. So we have a par putt from the fringe. It's a 20 footer. Stops close. And we tap in for the eventful bogey on the opening hole. Hole 2 is the first of the par 3s at Paul Maddock. Look like wacky races in front of me, plus waiting for the green to clear. We make a decent connection with the 26 degree hybrid. It finds the left side of the green. First green in regulation of the day. So this is the putt we have, it's a 32 footer uphill for birdie. Miss it short. When we hold the 5 footer, the first power of the day goes on the scorecard. Hole 3 is the first of the par 5s. The longest one as well at 512 yards. We hit a good connection with the tee shot, but it's out to the left, ends up on a bank. Second shot is a miss hit, popped up, hit under the ball, and that one lost a lot of distance. The third shot is a layup from 225 yards. Goes okay. It's 72, so the red flag hitting the sandwich. And the approach to the green is hit heavy, a total miss hit. The 50 yard pitch is knifed straight through the back of the green for the fifth shot. And the sixth shot is bladed at 100 miles an hour through to the other side of the green. So the red mist is descending. Shot seven is a 55 foot lag putt that I don't even set the camera up. Don't think I've ever done that before. The eight footer for the triple bogey slides by to the left. And the card a quadruple bogey nine disaster on hole three. So fittingly, hole four is stricken next to hardest hole on the front nine. So we hit a decent drive, finds the fairway. This is a long par four, this one, three shotter. So second shot layup goes okay. 76 hitting a soft one with a pitching wedge. So the approach to the green with the pitching wedge finds the green but a little bit short of distance for the pen. So a 40 footer uphill for a par. And the putt somehow drops. Golf's a funny old game, what a difference from the previous hole. That's the new longest putt ever, 40 foot, longest putt ever. 
Could have gone miles past as well. So hole five, unfortunately on this day was closed. Something to do with working on the green. So we move on to the par three with the island green. So going with the GPS yardage here, 153 yards. Go with this 26 degree hybrid. We don't make the carry, the ball goes in the drink. So 67 from the drop zone. So there is a rule at this course that if you hit your tee shot in the water, you must play your third from the drop zone on this hole. There's the island green there. Balls on the green. With a 35 footer uphill for a bogey. This is short right. And we hold the four footer for a double bogey on hole six. A really good hole that one. Definitely a fun one if you're playing a four ball. Hole seven, so par five, dog leg to the left. And we're in play with a tee shot, finds the right side of the fairway. Second shot layup is a miss hit with a forward. But it's still okay with the dry conditions, goes around 160 okay. yards, thumbs up. It's like 128 yards, I'm going with a seven iron. Let's go with eight iron actually. Bit dry. Eight times better. So the approach shot with the eight iron hit right on line. Thumbs up. Really good. <laughs> really, really good. Uh, it's one of those shots that the closer you get to the ball, the better it looks. Pin high, six foot away, slightly uphill. And that's what we have for birdie. Great opportunity this one. Yeah. And the putt drops. Really happy with that. Birdie goes on the scorecard. Happy days. Hole 8 is a par 5. Dog leg to the left. The third par 5 on this front 9. And we lose our tee shot out to the right on this bank. Still not too bad a position. We lay up with a seven iron. It goes okay, around 140 yards. Thumbs up. It's 120, going with nine iron, everything's going further. The approach shot to a raised green is hit right on line. And catches the front of the green. Another pitch mark to repair, another green in regulation, another birdie put coming up. It's a 25 footer uphill. Stops close, it was tracking at one point. I thought I was going to make a second birdie in a row for the first time on this channel. So tap in for the easy par. Play well now. Hole 9 is a par 3 from an elevated tee. We're going with 5 iron just to get it there. I'm not pin hunting here, trying to hit the middle of the green. And we get another re green regulation, catching the right side of the green. I thought we were in the bunker actually, from the tee box. Happy to be on the green, happy to be putting for birdie, it's a 50 footer. Misses right. Reasonable pace on that one. Uh, five footer. But we miss the five footer for par. And card the three putt bogey on hole nine. So the front nine score was. 39, so 7 over for the 8 holes. 
So a total mixed bag, which is normal for me. I uh, played okay in parts, played quite badly in parts, but recovered from each bad hole with a good hole straight after, so that really helped. So the parkland side of the course is finished now, and let's see what we can score on the back nine, which is Lynx Golf at Porth Maddock. Well, 10 is a par 4 with a blind tee shot. We pick our line over the marker post, and are in play, find the right side of the fairway. 176 going for the green with a 22 degree slight downhill. So we have a chance to hit the green in two. And we hit a thin approach shot which bounces a couple of times off some banks on the left, trundles onto the green, and we end up pin high, 22 foot away. That's what we have for birdie. And the putt lips out, so close, I thought that was in at one point. Couldn't get much closer. We start the back nine with a tap-in par. Hole 11 is a long par 3. Going to smash the forward on this one and see what happens. Make a decent connection. But Mr. Green, short right. We chip one on, that goes okay. And have an eight footer for par. And the putt drops, they're all going in now. I'm really happy with that one. Start at the back nine with two pars. And now moving on to the most scenic hole at Porth Maddock. So it's pretty breathtaking views from this side of the course. Hole 12 is one of the best par 4s I've ever played. The type of hole you never play it the same twice. I'm just going with a layup off the tee. First time I played this one. And now a 7-iron shot doesn't end up on the beach thankfully. It ends up in the fairway with a chance to hit the green in two. So it was a good job I didn't top my tee shot there. You can see all this thick stuff here. Leave me in. Bit of a crazy hole this one. It's 127, uphill a lot. Gonna hit the five iron. So I wasn't sure what club to go with then, but I hit a slightly thin one out to the left in the rough. He's 40 yards from the thick stuff, just going to hit and hope. So we hit a sand wedge from the thick stuff, it comes out hot. It somehow rolls up the bank and then rolls back down. An amazing stroke of good fortune there. So we have an unexpected par putt coming up. It's a 20 footer. Let's see if we can hold this one. And the putt lips out. So close. And we tap in for the bogey on hole 12, which is the type of hole where you just forget about the scoreboard and just enjoy the game of golf. And if that wasn't enough, this is a view looking back from the elevated 13th tee. Great views on this course. It's downhill a lot. It's going to go straight at it. Smooth green. Hole 13 is a long par 3 from an elevated tee position and we miss the green to the left. Just walking down here from the tee box, you can hardly pick out the green from the tee on this one. You definitely don't want to be sure. You can see the 13th hole sign, it was definitely much needed. 
So we have a green side chip, 18 yards to the pin. It goes okay, we have the pop up that we wanted, it's a five footer. The putt slides by to the left. And we card the bogey with no drama. Hole 14 is stroke index 1, hardest hole on the course, with a blind tee shot hitting over a marker post. We chose our line and committed, but unfortunately lose our tee shot out to the right and end up on a huge mound to the right side. So the second shot is to gouge forward into the fairway and that's what happens. We have a chance to hit the green in three with a five iron, but catch this third shot very heavy, losing distance. So fourth shot is a pitch from around 45 yards. It just trickles off the right side of the green. We have a 25 footer for a bogey from the fringe. That slides by to the right. And this time we make the five footer and card the double bogey on the stroke index one hole. Hole 15 is a medium length par four. And we hit a great drive, 200 yards in the middle of the fairway. Uh, it's 142 uphill going the 26 degree just to get it there so we have a chance to hit the green in regulation to this raised green but miss short left this is a tired swing i think getting tired and this is the fairway i'm walking down huge craters i don't know if you use this place for military work or what in the past but a bit of a crazy fairway this one so we have a pitch to the green, around 40 yards uphill. It's totally thin, straight through the back of the green. Finds the back fringe. So a 50 footer, lag putt. Stops five foot away, getting a lot of five foot putts on these holes. And this time, we hit a weak putt, card a second double bogey in a row. So it's golden hour now, as the photographers call it, everything has a natural glow. I was feeling very tired, physically and mentally, never played the course before, making a few errors but still enjoying the round, let's see what we can score in the last three holes. Well 16 is a short par 4. And we lose our tee shot out to the right again and end up on another huge mound. Couldn't even set the camera up properly for this one. That's how bad the position was. So just a gouge out back to the fairway and that's what happens. So I have a chance to hit the green in three. We catch this pitching wedge, slightly thin, it rolls through the back of the green. Still have a par putt from the fringe. You can see the golden hour glow on the mountain sides there. It's 18 footer from the fringe now. The putt stops dead on with the hole. We tap in for the bogey. We move on. So just walking to the 17th tee here, it's the last of the par 5s, 464 yards, we hit a great drive, over 200 yards, binds the fairway. The layup shot with the forward goes okay, a bit, a bit thin, but still okay. 
So we have a chance to hit the green with the pitching wedge in regulation. But we catch the shot slightly heavy. Comes up short. Comes up just short of the green. And we got a stroke of good fortune here. I didn't know there was a little ditch here. Very sneaky this one on this par 5. The fourth shot just a chip on. We're slightly heavy handed with the chip. The ball rolls to the back of the green. Still have the par putt, the one we wanted. Uphill. It's a 22 footer. Uphill, left to right. And the putt doesn't break as much as I thought, but it stops dead on with the hole. And we tap in for the bogey, despite the best efforts of the Seagulls trying to put me off on that shot. So we have Seagulls trying to put us off, and on the 18th tee, we have a truck that turns up at the worst time possible. <laughs> no worries though. So this is a medium length par 4, we've still had a great drive over 200 yards finding the fairway. So this truck, he went the wrong way, so he's backing up. He still have an approach to the green around 180 yards, we're going for the green in 2, let's see if we can get it. We hit a total miss hit for the second shot, just a low scuff down the fairway. Nevertheless, we have an approach to the green around 100 yards, going with the 9 iron. Thumbs up. I thought I was on the green, we're actually on the fringe. We have the par putt that we wanted from the fringe, it's a 32 footer. Good pace, stops close to the hole. And we tap in for the bogey on hole 18. For a round of 83, so 16 over on the 17 holes, so we broke the equivalent of 90 on this day, which I'm really happy with the score. Hole 7 to 11, it was basically the best I've ever played on camera, played like a scratch golfer. Loads of green regulations, and the back nine I was feeling a bit tired, but hung on and grinded out the score. I uh, really like the course. The Front nine, I wasn't expecting much, but I really liked it with the three par fives. It's a shame the other par four was closed. Uh, the front nine is really good for scoring, even with the quadruple bogey nine on the card. And obviously the back nine is has the wow factor with the links golf and all the nice views. But I struggled on some of those holes. It was a bit of a mental challenge because you don't know where the green is and it's all elevated and, and it seemed like I was on a bank. Like just trying to gouge it back into play along a lot of those holes. So overall the course was really good, better than I expected. As soon as I finished the round, I was thinking about playing there again, which is obviously a very good sign. And um, yeah, it was really perfect weather, enjoyed the day, enjoyed the round in general. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed playing and making it, and see you on the next one. Signing off.